I'm getting pretty close to the end of my Brewer's Advent calendar. The Brewer's calendar is a case of 24 beers. I believe it may be a Costco exclusive. It cost almost $60. Came down to about $240 a beer. This is Ryder Reader India Pale Ale. I don't know anything about the brewery either. Here's what it looks like. It's simple, but I just kind of like that. 6% alcohol. I don't know what the IBUs are in this at all. I have no idea. I'm figuring this is going to be a light color, light to medium body. I'm going to go ahead and open it up now. Deep golden, very cloudy, very thick head, but that could just be because of the angle I poured that. I get some hops out of the nose. Not, not significant though. A little floral, but it's just a tickle of, a tickle of teaser of that. There might be a hint of citrus in the background too, but everything is just so faint in here. It's not as hoppy as I was expecting. In fact, it's actually barely, it's really not that hoppy. This is covering my entire mouth top to bottom in hops. Probably medium body. Some light citrus, some light pine, earthy. I'm thinking of uh, citrus cleaners for some reason. Not really sweetness out of here. Almost maybe like a little doughy. The hot bitterness does stick around. It's primarily on my tongue. To a normal IPA drinker who wants you 100,000 IBUs, this would be nothing. To me, it's high though. I'm not getting spiciness out of it or maltiness or fruitiness. The hop presence is by far the most dominant. The hops are kicking in more now. So first it just gets smashed in the face with hops. And then as that dies down, that piney, earthy citrus. I'm going to try the can now, but I don't expect that to be any different. It's covering my entire mouth, sticking to my tongue. The hops just grab a hold of it. It tastes medium body. Pine, citrus, earthy notes. Plenty of hop character but virtually no malts. It's the same as the, the glass. I didn't notice any any off flavors. Diacetyl, DMS, acetone, paint thinner, bad fruit, fuse alcohol, skunked. It's so hoppy to me that I wouldn't notice them because it's just, the hops are so potent. Would I buy this again? No, I would not because I don't like IPAs. Would I recommend it? If you're a hop head, yeah, you might like this very much. I don't want to let Tony Bay it's a bad beer because it's not. I mean, if you like IPAs, you probably like this beer. I just don't. I don't like hoppy beers. I think it's a very average, typical IPA though. Writer India Pale Ale or Reader, I don't know how to say it. That's all I have for this review. I'm going to move on to something else. Prost!